We're visiting seven Division I wrestling teams in seven days. Random question. We would really love if you would lend us your wrestling room. You're going to be good on this interview, dude. One more, one more, one more. Three, and the saying they had was tougher than the lips on a woodpecker, right? <laughs> We're visiting seven wrestling schools in seven days. Why are we doing that, JD? To raise money for the youth wrestlers affected by the fires in Maui. And get cool content. Yesterday, we spent all day with the University of Michigan. Then, this morning, we took a nice little three-hour drive down the road to a one... Ohio State. <laughs> That's right. The Buckeyes. And all jokes aside, our time with Ohio State has been really awesome. We got a ton of great interviews. We spent some time in the weight room. We got to mic up Buzakis, see what he's like when he's lifting. Unfortunately, we didn't get to spend as much time off the mat with the Buckeyes as we wanted to, as we did in Michigan. But that's because we're about to get on the road right now because we have a four and a half hour drive to that we're making tonight. Okay, pause. Before we continue here, let's rewind a little bit back to this morning. Uh. Good morning. Where are we going, JD? Ohio State. Boo. No, I'm just kidding. Ohio State guys are cool. <laughs> you excited? Yeah. They're fresh off U20s at a big U20s. There's a lot to get excited about, and Tom Ryan's always fun to talk to. What should I text? Just be like, yo, random question, but do you know any <laughs> club coaches in your town, and can you give me their contact info? Honestly, just so call them right now. Just call them. Call them? You think you can? Is that weird? I've only communicated with them via text. Just call him. You want me to call him? I'll call him. All right, call him. I love how you can still hear the jazzercise in the background over here. So we're going to Ohio State today, but the next school we're going to is decently far away, and we need to be there at like 8 in the morning. So I'm trying to stay there tonight. So I am hitting up their coach to ask him if he knows any coaches in the area that we can sleep in the wrestling club. <laughs> Hey coach, this is JD Raider. Random question kind of for you, but do you know any youth clubs there that you could put me in contact with? Or nearby anyways? Let me talk to Let me, let me, let me talk to him. He's just, he's just getting in here and I'll, uh, I'll hit you back. Awesome, I would appreciate it so much. All right, buddy. Thank you, talk to you later. You got it. Bye. We're all packed up. Bye Dark Horse Wrestling Club. Thank you so much. You have been amazing first hosts. Despite your rude jazzercise neighbors, uh, got any last words for Dark Horse Wrestling Club, JD? No. Shout out to uh, the horses. Good luck this season. Let's get out of here. I actually got my workout in this morning. Right there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm calling Timmy Miles of Virginia Elite. We're gonna make the long drive to from Columbus tonight. We need a place to stay in tonight. Hello. Hey coach, this is JD Raider and Tyler Meissner of Flow Wrestling. How you doing? Good, how are you guys doing today? Not too bad. Hey, really odd request for you. I don't know if you've seen what we're doing or not, but we're on a really long road trip, but we are sleeping in wrestling club rooms and we would really love if you would <laughs> lend us your wrestling room tonight. If you want to see what the answer was and find out if we get to put another $300 towards the wrestlers in Maui, you have to keep watching till the end of the video. All right, we just got to the Ohio State wrestling room. We're going to check it out. Uh, they have a lift afterwards, so we're going to film that and we're going to get a bunch of interviews, so it's going to be really sick. You ever been in this room before? I have. I have been in this room before. It is maybe the biggest D1 wrestling room. Go stand on the uh, exact opposite side. I want to see how tiny you look. Dude, I literally can't even see you. Even if I zoom in, you're like... <laughs> I did digital zoom to see what you were doing. Remember yesterday we were talking about how nice wrestling rooms with windows are? Windows. I think this room has a little too many windows, honestly. I think Michigan's has like the perfect amount. Yo, these mats are so soft. I know they are. It's like a cloud. I wish we were sleeping in this wrestling room. <laughs> Bring it home. Get you one of these. What's that? Bring it home. Get you one of these. What is that from? Friday Night Lights. I never watched it. Babies and memories, babies and memories, that's all you have. Let's go get some interviews. That Young Bucks episode, what was that like to be a part of? I liked it, there are some things I was just like, you know, getting taken down to practice by <laughs> Sam Sesso, can't get off my back. I was like, shoot, there's Vader right there with a camera <laughs> in my face. <laughs> Describe Sammy Sasso in, in one or two words. Moody? <laughs> uh, tough. Coach Tom said you wanted to go at 
you twenties, but he said it was best for you not to. It was hard. Like I was, I was close to wrestling unattached. Just like going on the website, signing myself up. No, I'm just kidding. Don't, don't tell Tom that. <laughs> Tom's always a, a pleasure to talk to. I can talk to him for hours. And he could talk for hours. <laughs> it's true. It's true. We're going to try to laugh some of Sounds like Buzakis. Feldman said if we want good content, go to him. And we are nothing if not team content. So I think we got to mic up Buzakis. How's JD as an interviewer? One of the better ones I've had for sure. Yeah? Let's go. Oh, for let's sure. go. Definitely the conversation for top 20. Really? You say that. No, I, 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 I thought you were going to laugh at top 20. Laugh at top I did 20. laugh. I laughed. Thanks for the late reaction. I appreciate that. I said, all right, who's, uh, who's like the most intense left or who's the most hype? We need to mic them up. And he said, you. Oh, okay, bet. Let's go. I got to watch my mouth this whole time. Say whatever you want. Ah, damn. Mom's not going to be happy about this. <laughs> I got a mic check. Check one, two. Why do you think they told us to put a mic on you? Because uh, I'm going to say the most absurd stuff. <laughs> You guys should mic me up when I'm playing video games. You'll hear some scary shit. Here's Wednesday. Yeah, I'm excited. We're gonna have some fun. <laughs> yeah, I love Binge Press Day. Last year, uh, my max was 300 pounds, so... Uh, max was 300 pounds? Yeah. How did you weigh? Uh, probably 155 at the time. Yeah, I'm smaller now, but you know, we'll see. We're not maxing out today. Today, we're starting off with, you know, some of the centric stuff, like hang power cleans just to warm up the body, med ball slams, stuff for rotation things like that, then we go into split squats, and then uh, after that we do dumbbell press, lap pull downs, and a lot of uh, more eccentric stuff, like Nordic hamstring curls, and stuff like that, and then uh, he blacked out this area, so he's going to surprise us with a little something, we'll see what happens. <laughs> what are we in for when we back up these actors? Um, a bunch of nonsense, <laughs> kind of just an control his intrusive thoughts so he kind of just lets it out and uh, he'll probably miss like 265 on bench and tell you to put 315 on. <laughs> I missed it and I just had 45 To be missing you just gotta add weight? Yeah. <laughs> if you're a kid and you miss, uh, miss your first rep, just add more weight you'll be fine. Awful advice. <laughs> Awful. Everyone was really hyping up Buzakis like he was going to be this crazy animal when he lifted, but he really just made a lot of regular, normal person noises. This feels good. Oh, help. Oh, that, I, that last one sucked. <sighs> This is good. Yeah, clip. He was an animal. He was moving around some big boy weight. He was moving around some big boy weight, but they made it seem like he was gonna just like spew all of his intrusive thoughts while he was lifting. <laughs> Three, two, one, up. One more, one more, one more. Big Lots parking lot. It's not Big Lots anymore. It's uh, it's Riverview Mercantile Company. Actually. Real, pretty good. Yeah. <laughs> 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 like the exact name of the parking lot as Bryce. You know, it's, it's not a Big Lots anymore. You can't type that in. Just Bryce knows where to go. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I was just there at 629. Whistle blows at 630 to run down to Elmwood, to run in Elmwood tomorrow. Sco Bucks on three. One, two, three. Sco Bucks. What was, what was that spell you cast, buddy? Yeah, that's what it's called. Look what are we going to Hogwarts now? Give me a tour of the Ohio State snack area. Snack area? All right. Mendez never has never been in here once in his life. He doesn't know what this place is. You got to book up to a 41, though. Oh, oh, that, that's right. That's right. 41, son. So this is the fuel zone. This is the spot where you go before before practice and uh, you got a little bite to eat. We got the nest upstairs where you get your meals, the the full meals. This is where you just stop by, get a quick snack. I got, got pretty much everything you need. Got your fruits, yeah, got smoothies, Gatorades, protein shakes. Yeah, this thing makes the smoothies. There's some good stuff on there. Looks like it's all salt. Yeah, so. yeah, what is this? <laughs> uh, well, usually it's got everything. It's Hold got on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All you got to do is... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay, okay. You gotta be good on this interview, dude. Dude, I'm the best. If this is all people see of Ohio State is you, they're gonna be like, holy shit, I wanna go to Ohio State. Yeah. <laughs> Let's hope so. Yeah, the smoothie machine's super nice when it works. Kinda gotta look in these cabinets, though, but you got... Got yeah, your milk and apple I don't know why I was asking Jesse. You probably have the veteran spots right here. I do, I do. <laughs> I'm, the, I'm the old guy now. Do you used to have like those animal crackers, like you know, like the circle, yeah, the circus I animal crackers. crackers. The, I lived on those as a child, so that, <laughs> those were great. Don't listen to that. The best thing is the strawberry milkshake. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing else. Is That's how you get the 41. That's what I'm saying. Don't listen to what. What did you say, Cheerios? No, dude, the animal crackers. Stupid answer. <laughs>
Does one of you guys know how to go up a weight class better than the other, or are you both, we're both learning We're together? both pretty good at that. <laughs> <laughs> the event days are pretty good at that. I think I adjust better. Probably. <laughs> you think so? I'm just so much more athletic, better looking. So that probably helps me in the long run. I'll give it to him. He's a young guy. I don't, I don't <laughs> want to break him too, too early. Jesse just learned what a girl was for the first time about a month ago. That's not true. I've talked to girls before, I swear. And we would really love if you would lend us your wrestling room tonight. We, we would, I, would love to, I would love to help. I'm going to have to uh, possibly either get someone to meet you there or because I'll be busy. I'm out of town. Okay, we won't be there till like, oh, eight or nine. I don't know exactly. We're in Columbus right now, but. Yeah, I, I would, we would love to help post you guys. We, uh, our hot water heater is currently out. If you want a hot shower, you might be out of luck there. We honestly, we're not sure if we'd get any showers on this trip at all. So the fact that you have a shower <laughs> is amazing. Yes. Right. Oh, and it's also raining in this area, so you could also just okay, you know, okay, just step we're outside. Hey, well, thank you, yeah. Coach, so much. We really appreciate appreciate it. Um, you're really helping helping us out and uh, helping out some uh, families and kids in need. So this is uh, a big favor for us. Thank you. Glad we can help and just yeah, send me a message and I'll uh, I'll make sure someone's there to let you in. We'll do. Be in touch. Thank you so much. You're welcome, guys. Have a good trip. You too. Bye. He said, "Have a good trip," and you said, "You too." Whatever, man. Shut up. <laughs> it's a normal saying to say when you say goodbye. Uh, yeah, it, 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 Shut up. <laughs> we got a room, though. We got a room! We got a room, baby! All right, JD, we just got done with Ohio State. How do you think it went? It went amazing. Bunch of good interviews. Probably not quite as much vlog content as we did at Michigan, but if you don't give a shit about the vlogs, but you're really into like the actual like wrestlers, this was the stop for you. It's kind of late. Do you think we should check in with the owner of Virginia Elite real quick? Give him a call, kind of touch base, let him know how late we're gonna be. Yes, I should map out exactly how long it's gonna be first. Are you mapping it out or are you ordering your sandwich? I'm mapping it out. <laughs> Bro, I was wrong. How long? How long? Five and a half. Five and a half? We have a five and a half hour drive? Yeah. So, it would appear as though JD is a terrible planner. He was telling me that the drive from Ohio State to <laughs> Ah, that tolls, I was looking at a non-toll route. We still have five hours, so. <laughs> It's five o'clock right now. If we leave right now and don't stop for dinner, or I'm gonna have to pee. I'm gonna have to pee. You're gonna have to hold it. I'm not gonna hold it. Then we'll get there at 10 p.m. Obviously, we want to sleep in these in these resting rooms, but we also don't want to be putting out the owners of these places because they're doing us huge favors. So this is gonna be tough. Um, we have to like hurry. Yeah, we gotta hurry. We gotta hurry. <laughs> It's you again, because you have no. No, that one's you because you, you have no, no brain. No, that was the joke I was gonna make. Beat you to it. In state number three today. 10:24 p.m. Our ETA is 10:31. I made great time. We filled up with gas on our way out of Columbus. Still in Columbus, did not stop once. We are exhausted. JD's been driving. I've been editing. At this point, it's like we're at a Virginia Elite Wrestling Club. Well, I wonder what college we're gonna go to tomorrow. <laughs> What's your name? Evan. Evan, I'm Tyler. Nice to meet nice you, man. To meet you. I really appreciate you letting us in at 10:30 p.m. on a Monday. <laughs> I got nothing else to do. Where there was a big wall right here. Ty Walls tore it down. I just took it off. Um, <laughs> with his hands? Yes. That's not a joke. He took it down with his hands. Well, we actually threw out all the trophies. We said we were suffering from success, so we threw them all away. <laughs> it's huge. It is. You guys got a lot of mat space. We do. So why why are you why did he send you? I'm the caretaker. I mop the mats. I unlock the doors. Mere an hour early every practice. <laughs> I just I've always done. It. I was appointed as a freshman. I just kept it going. So I got to mm -hmm. hand it down. Chop wood, carry water. Yeah. Yeah. Why are you guys letting us us stay here? Just out of the goodness of your hearts, or? Um. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> I wouldn't want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a better question. You think we'll uh, have a good night's sleep here? Dogs might wake you up. There's big old. There's dogs? There's dogs back there. Just you made it sound like they're wild. Cute. They are wild. They There's wild dogs <laughs> We've back there. We've never seen them. We good thing I got that dog in oh me. Oh my God. <laughs> well, we really appreciate you letting us in here. Okay. It means a lot. I watched the video this morning? You watched the video this morning? I watched the video this morning. Dude, <laughs> my guy. That's awesome. Also, so you know that this is helping us put yes. $300 towards uh, the kids affected, the rest of us affected. By the fires in Maui. So yes, sir. We really appreciate you guys. What were you about to say? Uh, you did some really bad Fargo trades. 
<laughs> Man. This is my shameless plug for the account. Virginia underscore shoes underscore singlets on Instagram. Okay. Go follow it. Rulon's on the way. Bunch of heat. <laughs> Dude, you got scammed. I know what, who what scammed was, what you. What was my too. worst trade? It was the seahorse singlet. The seahorse single was bad, huh? It was terrible. As a pay payback to you, we're gonna follow your shoe account on the Flow Wrestling Instagram. Flow okay. account, right there. Following. Following. Right Good. there. <laughs> I gotta go write an essay. Oh my God, what's wrong with you? You gotta go write an essay. You wanted the prompt? Yes. Write about an experience you've had. <laughs> that sounds like an easy prompt, honestly. Teacher thinks. He's a professor. He's not. He's not a professor. <laughs> Shout out your teacher right now and be like, hey, Mr. Man, Mr. Not... Edwards, please move the due date. <laughs> move the due date. All right, we made it. We got a place to sleep. How do you feel about this place? It's, it's, it's nice. They hooked it up. Shout out Virginia Lee. We've kind of been pretending like it's a secret what school we're going tomorrow, but you can figure it out if you really want to. You excited for tomorrow's school? I am very excited. It will be my first time on this school's campus. As promised in the last video, we got to read donations over $100. Um, not a good day for JD. Number one, we got that girl that pinned JD in 2006, made a $100 donation. I wasn't the only one that day. She was good. It says, Colleen got nothing on me. Colleen is JD's fiance. Now, I would watch out for Colleen. <laughs> I don't think it was actually the group in me. I got a hunch. I think I know who it was. We got Tyler's number one fan making a $500 donation. I don't know what this is all about. Great cause. I hope this helps you get back on the mat quicker. I honestly was really shocked when I saw this. We did promise a 20 second segment to whoever donated $500. So I'm gonna go ahead and put 20 seconds on the clock real quick. Um, talk about Tyler's number one fan. I think Tyler's number one fan is someone everyone should aspire to be. I think it's obviously a great person. You went off a little bit today. I'm not entirely sure this person isn't actually you. <laughs> I have not done my expense reports in forever. I do not have $500 to put. Okay, 20 seconds is up. Thank you, Tyler's number one fan. We got another place to sleep. That means another $300 towards uh, the wrestlers affected by the fires in Maui. That's awesome. That puts us at a total of $600 so far. We're well on our way to our $2,000 goal. It's currently 11.39 p.m. Me and JD will probably be up for another five hours working on the things that we need to work on. And then we'll sleep for two hours and then we'll go to the next school. Grind boy stuff. Grind boy stuff. All right, good night.